At some point when you're in Costa Rica, you're going to end up in an actual rainforest. Now, we talked about cloud forest before and high humidity or moisture forest, but a rainforest is just that. It gets a certain amount of rainfall each year, qualifying it as a rainforest. Rainforests are filled with life. Beautiful, vibrant plants. All sorts of animals that you're going to see. But there are a couple of shooting situations that I'd like to point out. First up, bring two camera bodies. When you're in a rainforest with all of that moisture, pollen, and dust, do not swap out lenses. I can't tell you enough how much I would recommend changing your lens inside the car. When I was out shooting, I had a short lens that was a fast prime lens, so I get really close and get great details. I found bats hanging out beneath trees. I found all sorts of interesting low light situations. And on the other hand, having a zoom lens let me punch in on things. While out hiking, we came across river rafters and all sorts of stuff that was well outside of my reach that the long lens was able to punch in on. Now, for me, using a Micro Four Thirds camera made all the difference here. By walking with two smaller bodies, and mirrorless would be the same, I was able to capture a lot of material without some of the traditional weight associated with DSLR. I also strongly recommend you bring a good walking stick or a monopod. It's going to be difficult to carry the tripod out there. A monopod will often do the case. If you are going to take a tripod, make sure it's an ultra lightweight tripod. Because with most of these rainforests, you will have a path and you'll start walking. Now, we worked with a guide that made it easier, but one of the things to realize about these paths is there are no cutoff points. What I mean by that is that once you start going down the path, at some point, you get past the halfway mark. And there's nothing faster. You can't turn around. You just have to keep going. As such, you will find yourself walking, and a lot of walking. Additionally, there will be opportunities to actually go down to the rainforest floor which is an entirely different experience. In this case, you're gonna find yourself walking down small, narrow, metal spiral staircases. And these are rock solid, but a little bit harrowing. I would recommend that you keep your gear light and you go with a backpack. This will allow you to have both hands free so you can hold the railings as you descend. Once you get down to the floor, keep in mind that there are a lot more animals than there are people. Now, nothing that's going to likely come up to you. We didn't see any large or scary animals, but don't walk and shoot photos at the same time. Walk, survey your environment and find a good place to stop, locate a subject, plant your feet, take the shot. When you feel that you've got the subject, then move on. Avoid the temptation to get lost in the moment and shuffle and sidestep or backpedal. This is not an easy flat surface, and you might step on something or some type of animal that you don't want. By being careful and mindful of your environment, you'll be able to capture really compelling images while keeping yourself and the environment that you're capturing perfectly safe. 